And as COVID-19 continues to spread, a new state-run testing site is open in Rockland County, but it wasn't a smooth first day for folks trying to get a test. News 12's Diane Caruso is outside the Patriot Hills Golf Club in Stony Point. And Diane, what did you hear from people there? Good evening. Folks told me besides waiting hours to get tested, some Rockland residents who have difficulty with their mobility, like walking, for instance, actually had to climb these stairs to get up inside and get tested. I'm devastated. Devastated by the whole thing. Miss Flynn relies on her scooter to get around since she has difficulty breathing. And today, the suffering resident relied on an officer to help her get it up and down the stairs so she could get tested at the new state-run COVID-19 testing site in Stony Point. I thought it was a new site. It would be quick. It would be easy. It was four hours and devastating. So she wants the state site back where it used to be. Bring it back to Anthony Wayne and do the thing right. During our time here, we saw a park police officer also help an elderly woman get up and inside. Compound that with waiting hours to get swabbed. I've been here roughly about four hours. Jim of New City was told it's because they're short staffed. There's only two people when they should have four okay. doing the job, so that's been the slowdown here. Residents wanted to give a shout out to those healthcare workers inside who were doing their best despite being overwhelmed. So it was just the two of them today, and they were so nice, couldn't be more gracious, more calm, helping everybody. We're told that the state will be helping with the site staff here to make sure the people who need to use the ADA accessible elevator that's near the handicapped spots will be able to do so in the, ne in the next coming future of appointments and dates here as the testing, rates, uh, testing site continues. Uh, but for those folks who came today, it's a little too late. We're in Stony Point, Diane Crusoe, News 12.